guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks, and let's jump right into this topic. So guys, as many of you guys know, Normani just recently dropped her single, Fair. I actually did a reaction or just gave my opinion on the snippet when she initially dropped the snippet, and I must say... I have not listened to the song. <laughs> so this video will not in any way have any critiques of the song itself because I have not heard it. <laughs> you know, I have not listened to it. Um, if you watched my previous video when she dropped the snippet, I did say she looked fire in her images, her video that she dropped, the teaser, but I was not a fan of, you know, the snippet. So it didn't cause me to want to go out and listen to the song. I said then I probably would not listen to it when it first dropped. I'm sure I'll get around to it, but no, I have not listened to it. But here's the thing. So Normani just posted recently a billboard that her label put up in her honor to promote the single. And listen, Twitter is being Twitter, okay? Twitter is not having it, okay? So Normani is absolutely nude in this billboard um, promoting fair. Now, you guys are going to have to let me know because, again, as I stated, I have not listened to the entire song. Does the nude aesthetic go with the song? Because if you remember, if you guys haven't seen the video where I did my reaction to the snippet, go ahead and check that out. For those of you guys who did look at that video, if you remember... The only thing that I really had a problem with other than the song itself, I was like, I wasn't feeling the, you know, the the little snippet that she dropped. But the only other thing I had a problem with in terms of the visual was the fact that she was painting nude. And I was just like, okay, so how does this tie into the actual song? And I was like, okay, I'm sure it will when the entire song comes out. So you guys let me know. For those of you who heard the song, who liked the song, let me know if the nude aesthetic actually ties in some way with the song itself because i'm still wondering that but back to the billboard she's um entirely nude on this billboard she posted this to her twitter and as i stated twitter was not having it listen they are coming for your girl they had um very mixed emotions most of them being very negative one person said girl somebody else um posted her label is holding her back for real Somebody else said, is she selling lotion? That's why no one's streaming. Somebody else said, you want kids to see this? So a lot of people are having problems with the fact that she's promoting herself in this way or she's promoting the song in this way. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I honestly, I don't have any thoughts on this particular matter because again, I have not heard the song. If the nude aesthetic does tie into the song, then listen, I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, you're going to attract the type of audience that you want. And if you're not attracting kids and that's not the audience that you're you're going for, you have to be true to who you are. So again, it, you know, if it goes with the song, I personally don't have any problem with it. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. And let's get into the next topic. So recently on one of my previous videos, I did report that there were some allegations floating around that when it came to G Herbo and Ari's son Yoshan and G Herbo seeing him, his new baby mom for the second time, Tanya was not allowing him to see Yoshan right now due to stress on her current pregnancy. I did state in that video that those were allegations. And so we do know that at that time and at the time of that video, G Herbo hadn't seen Yoshan since last year. And as many of you guys already know and are aware, we are three months deep into this new year. So that's been quite a while. Well, here recently, um, about two days ago, G Herbo did post him with Yoshan. So we are happy that um, they were able to reunite, that he was able to see him because one of the things that kind of stood out was that he was saying that he did miss his son. So we are happy that he is able to spend some quality time with your son. You know, anytime a father wants to be present, it is important that, you know, he is allowed to be present, whether it's coming from the child's mother or that individual's current girlfriend. It doesn't matter who it's coming from. A uh, child should never be kept from his father if he's wanting to be in that child's life and if he's not an immediate threat 
or an emotional threat to that child. So that's my uh, opinion on that. And that's my take on that. But here's the flip side of that. Here recently, a lot of people noticed that there may be something going on with Moneybag and Ari. As we know, Ari is the baby mama and ex-girlfriend of, uh, of Jiherbo. And she's currently or was currently in a relationship with Moneybag. And so a lot of people noticed that not only did she, uh, are they no longer following each other on Instagram, but she did post something that was really interesting. Experiences. <laughs> Getting hurt by someone you've told and explained your pain to. Getting hurt by someone who knows your past and knows how broken and how vulnerable you are. A lot of people are. are assuming and speculating that she's possibly talking about her relationship with Moneybag and that he could have possibly cheated on her. And if anybody's wondering about, you know, what possibly that could relate to in her past, as you know, again, she was with G Herbo and it was alleged that he cheated on her with his now girlfriend, Tanya. So again, all of this is alleged. The only thing that we do know is they are currently not following each other. They being Moneybag and Ari. So I guess we're just going to have to kind of keep our eye out on this and see what happens, see what kind of develops with that. But that's all for this video. You guys let me know what you think down below and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.